Greetings to one and all present here. Group 5 is here to present on the topic thin layer chromatography. My team members are me, myself, Max Sultana, Mahsuma, Malaviga PJ, Meenakshi Nair, Mega B. Pradeep, Mehna Farooq, and Mohammed Shahil. Thin layer chromatography is a chromatographic separation method used to separate mixtures, to check the purity of mixture and to monitor the progress of reaction. The first use of TLC was reported in 1938 by two Russian scientists, N. A. Ismailov and M. S. Kreber. This is a diagrammatic representation of TLC. Now let's discuss the principle of thin layer chromatography. It is based on the principle of adsorption chromatography or partition chromatography or combination of both. Depending upon adsorbent, its treatment and nature of solvents employed. The components with more affinity towards stationary phase travels slower. The components with less affinity towards the stationary phase travels faster. The components in the mixture will travel up a plate coated with the stationary phase at a different rates depending upon their solubility in the mobile phase and their affinity for the stationary phase. This results in the separation of the components into distinct bands on the plate allowing for identification based on their relative positions. These are the steps involved in thin layer chromatography. The analyte is ported on the glass plate and dipped in the solvent. The solvent moves up and the components of the mixture get separated. Now, moving on to the procedure of thin layer chromatography. In this method, the stationary phase is a glass plate coated with the adsorbent. The material of the adsorbent is made into slurry or paste by adding a little starch at the cell before coating on the glass plate with a thin layer applicator. It is then dried. This glass plate with a thin layer of stationary phase is called chromatoplate. Now the mixture to be separated, that is the analyte, is applied on one end of the plate. This plate is then placed in the solvent. The solvent then moves upward due to capillary action. By this, the separation of mixture into components occurs. When solvent reaches near the top, it is then removed and dried. If the components are color, the spots can be readily located. If the components of the mixture are colorless, the dried plate is sprayed with a suitable reagent to make the spot color. In this way, the position of the components are located and their RF values are determined. The pictures given below show the thin layer chromatography done in a laboratory. The RF value or the ratio of forms or retention factor is the ratio of distance travelled by a component to the distance travelled by the solvent front. It is characteristic for each component. Under a given set of conditions, RF value is constant for a given component. Hence, it is possible to identify various components by determining their RF value. These are the major applications of thin layer chromatography. In monitoring the progression of reactions, to determine the purity of a substance, to check adulteration in food, identification of medical plants and their constituents, analyzing the decomposition of fibers in forensics, used in pharmaceutical and cosmetic industry, detection of pesticides or insecticides in food and water. Key advantages of thin layer chromatography. It can be used for separation of minute quantities of components Sensitive and sharp separation is possible. Speed of separation is very high. The method provides a with choice of stationary phases. Thank you everyone.